Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Zermac. We're way up here. Zermac. Uh, we got a, gosh, 27 foot box truck, he said. Uh, 6,500 or something like that. I don't know what we're up against. We got, we got Coben following us. Hopefully it's not bad. Hopefully it's just kind of off a little bit. He said he was trying to turn around and got the truck and the trailer stuck. But I'm not taking any chances up here. Hopefully, hopefully we can get it done with two trucks. I don't know how you get a 27 foot box truck and a trailer up here. That was the number one mistake. So we got all the way up to over Gatlinburg and then we turned and we went higher than over Gatlinburg. Yeah, it doesn't get, it doesn't get any higher than this stuff up here, guys. This is top of the world. There it oh, is. My oh wow. Wow. Um wow. Can you can't get to the other side of uh -uh, it, can we? No. It looks like it comes in over there, but uh hold on, let me see. Maybe. No, uh uh. Hey, buddy. You might be able to get around it in front of it. Some people have been passing us. I'm just okay. not sure what the size of the truck. Because what we think is if it gets drugged that way, we can go up the mountain and turn around. Okay. I don't know if y'all be able to get on the other side of it. Uh, my smaller truck might, and then we might be able to. Uh, let's go look. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah right there. back in like right here. Give me enough room to come right here beside you, and we'll both work together. Okay. I think I can get around him. I, I'm gonna let him try to control that back just a little bit, and that way we're not turning it over. We don't want to turn it over. Well, what's your? Uh, I think I can get up here close. I can control probably the back end, yeah. and I might be able to get him to try to scoot the, or I can get the front end and get him to try to scoot the back. Is it how much weight's in the back of it? Is it a bunch? It's just like debris and stuff. I okay. Mean, I wouldn't say it's super heavy, but the okay. trailer's what's heavy. Okay. Yeah. Well, I can at least get him to control either the truck or the back of the trailer. And, and we can see if we can get you drug back this direction. I mean, realistically, this step over here is probably what's holding it from going right now. Yeah, that step is buried, isn't it? So. But we just don't want it to swoop. Yeah. <laughs> so if we'll get enough cables on it to go that way, and if we've got to move the trailer, we'll, 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 we can get on that. But I think I can get by yeah, you there. At one point, I was just like, I'm gonna hook the trailer, let it drop in the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, you, you might've been able to wiggle after that, but. Uh, it's a big risk on. Yeah. I guess if Coben can rig up, he could probably get a hold of this back. Probably just anywhere in here, Coben. If you can kind of give me a little support so it doesn't slide down the hill. Um, See this trailer hanging on by a thread? Yeah, that's that's going to be the heaviest what he was saying too the heaviest part of it but hopefully we can get it all going that way so if you can uh i think you'll be okay there coven you think he needs to back up a little bit more? i would uh i think he's good i think you'll be good there just uh wheel chalk and if you can get it into four wheel drive go to go all the way forward to four low and then wheel chalk but he's grabbing the truck not the trailer yeah a little bit differently. I think you'll be okay. I just that's just going to give me a little bit of ump to keep it from sliding. So basically, I'm just using you as a hold. I 
the protector, I don't think. I need it to go inside of it, though. Um, are you going to grab something else, or are you just going to grab the front? Probably just going to grab the front, see if I can get it. I might go low pull and high pull. Uh, so I'll probably get a snatch block and... need it. I hope not, but no. we might. A little bit of lift and a little bit of non-lift, so you're good there. At least that keeps me from sliding. You want me to just keep tension? Um, you got a fair amount on it? No, I don't have like anything on it really. Okay. Um, I didn't put mine. I didn't put the truck in four wheel. You want me to do that now? Nah, we'll just see what it'll do. Okay. You got you got a decent amount on it now? Uh, no, I don't have that much. Yeah, give me give me a decent amount. Where you see it start to move just a little bit. Yeah. Okay. You want me, you want me to keep going? Yeah, a little bit more. It's really boring. There you go. That's good. That's got a decent amount on it. At least I know it won't go. Even if it goes, it'll be, it'll stop it at least. Starting to pull you a little bit? Yeah, I think I've got a lot on it. Huh? I've got a lot on it. Man. Okay, it's fine. We're we're getting closer. I'm I'm about to I'll probably have to pull forward just a little bit to finish doing what we're doing. He said that trailer was heavy, so if we need to we can I wish I'd have had you locked in, but it's a little too late now. But we'll get it.
I'm gonna have to come forward to get another big bite of it. Okay. I guess we're moving it. Okay. Two feet at a time. Cross your fingers, hope it stays. Give yours a little business. Okay, hold up. We'll do the same thing and we'll just keep okay co kind of work with me Should be good for you, I think. We might be good enough now, so I could come all the way forward and get somebody in it. But if I can give them a little help going that way. Is it? Yeah. We might still need you. It's just barely. Barely. Okay. I think we've I'm I'm comfortable where it's at. We've got you back on the road. Yeah. I'm thinking As long if, as I can we can get that trailer back out of the ditch. Yeah. Um I'm thinking if I can come up here and just give you just a little bit of pull. Yeah. And I might even just have you in neutral. Yeah. And but I'll we just, can get I'll that for an in swung. Yeah. yeah. 
Okay. I'm hoping that that trailer will crawl up out of there. Yeah, but if not, we you slid it back onto the road for sure. I think we're we're pretty good I there. Think the but the trailer will crawl out, no problem. Do you think it'll come out? I just don't know. With my truck only being two wheel drive or rear wheel drive, I don't think it's yeah. Do I don't it without you pulling yeah. a little bit. Of, you know. I'd rather just ease it up out of there slow. Yeah. That way we're not tearing. And, and we can leave him kind of here if he needs to pick up on the trailer and kind of make the trailer come our way. I believe um, in it because if it if it starts going then with you pulling me then it should the come way, it? yeah it should so. come up here out of the way but i could get him up here a little ways yeah. out of the way just in case okay. i don't i don't think that trailer would mess up with that ball but in the odd chance of it yeah that wouldn't be a good thing do you but, uh you need me in there now or no i'll, I'll get reset up up here just a little farther okay that's the plan coven um if you want to go ahead and let loose I think it'll stay. Just go super slow. Once you can, yeah. Once you can get all of your stuff unhooked, um, just go ahead to uh, go to four wheel drive and pull forward. You're going to be just get up there a good ways, so you'll be out of the way. Kind of your front end where he's at. Okay. And just all put right. it in four low, and then I'll I'll rehook your back. What's the plan? Uh, I'm gonna come up here out of the way. And I'm gonna pull while he's in it, okay. and leave Coven back there on the, on the trailer. On the trailer. Okay. okay. So the truck was all the way over here. This is where that step was dug in. And this is where the exhaust was dug in. And you'd see his back tire was right there. And now we have the trailer back in the ditch, worse than what it was, but the truck's better than what it was. I could tell from the way you're, uh, cause you basically, once you got so far, you had him slide it with you. Yeah, we're just kind of working together cause Keep you just, tipping. yeah. <laughs> Man, I, you've been up in here. You gotta get creative sometimes. We'll grab trees. Like I could probably grab one of those and, and start pulling, but I just worry about things sliding. Well, I'm um, to it's yeah, it works out. Yeah. It works out pretty good if you can just slow and easy, just inches at a time. And I wasn't sure, man. I was really, I was like, I, once I saw that you came with two trucks, though, that's how I knew it, that you, you've yeah. done this. On yeah, this we've, mountain, you know? we've been up here a bunch, especially during like our rain and snow events. We're always getting the. They're usually not as lucky as you. They're usually down off. They're already in there. Yeah, yeah. and we're. And you're. I mean, that's mangling the cars or whatever at that point. Trying to drag them up yeah. out of there, and it's crazy. Be in there now. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Are you want to pull it in or just gotta wait? Yeah, we're gonna wait. Okay. Uh, it might just come up out of there, so you might be okay. But we're gonna see. Um, I'm actually just go ahead to drive. Just don't give it any fuel. See if it'll come. That trailer's gonna be a problem. Yeah. No, I think it's coming, yeah, it's it up right now. As long as he don't give it any fuel, I think we'll be okay. It's starting to. I know, just get slick.
Yeah, I think I think your mom's got the camera now. I was kind of worried we'd have to pick up that trailer too, but. I think you're good now. Do you think it'll kind of walk forward for me a little bit? You, you're good. You got you got a pretty pretty good ways. I think it'll do it. I was gonna say at the top it kind of teased, but I walked up there and I guess I could it's, probably turn it. Got a yeah. There's a couple of spots still that are that are doable, but sometimes, These man. Ones they ain't made for trailers for sure. No, man, it's when our when our inspectors come out and sell this stuff, they don't think about what we're bringing. They don't. So. No, they just want you to get it done, and they will have no. And it, we'll get that too. You know, a lot of the insurance companies, we're trying to explain the situation, and they're you know they're out west somewhere. They don't. They think it's somebody's fault. Yeah, it's like no, you, know, so. you guys. So what do you want me to do? You want me to get turned around and get out of these people's way, and then we? I, I gotta call. I'd have to call my boss. And get, get the set for you guys. Yeah, yeah, that's but fine. I um, know if you wanna. Yeah, we'll get get to get out of their way first, or what? Yeah, I just want to mainly make sure you're okay. So yeah. if you wanna, I'll kind of pull forward or get out of your way. If you wanna go ahead and get up, that way you're facing, because ultimately you're going back up that yeah. way, right? Yeah, I gotta go down that road. And that way I'm I'm here just in case something. I, I hope not. Happen, I hope not. But man, it's it's happened to me before, and yeah. it's that's no fun. Yeah, you probably, I'll say you probably got a couple of driveways to grab. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know, the road might be a lot Okay guys, we're heading back down this crazy mountain road. You can see, you know, he said he'd, he'd reached out to him. He told him it was crazy. Probably wasn't a good idea to get that truck up here, but you know, I'll, you know the bigger the bigger higher ups often don't know what, you know, we're getting into on this area. It works the same way for our billing, you know, we'll we'll tell somebody, you know, a price and they're like, "Oh my god, you don't understand. It's this stuff is straight up and down." And uh, you know, it's a little different than winching somebody out on a Kansas City Highway, <laughs> uh, but yeah, we did we did good there. I'm sure glad Coben followed us over. That's amazing how much that little truck will will do and help. And he was dragging the back end, pulling it up onto the roadway, and then I got the front spun around there. And uh, just a little teamwork. It worked very well, you know. And, and on a crazier note, sometimes you know we get the people that are want to help and want to give it a little bit of fuel. And, and then that, that, that video was an excellent understanding of that. So I had him in there and I thought, well, let's see if he'll pull forward. While I've got him hooked up, he's secure. I know Coben's hooked and he's not gonna go anywhere. Let him give it a little bit of fuel and see if it'll help. And immediately that back end started spinning and sliding off into the, uh, that would have been bad, the, the big ditch there. So he actually did pull, at, pull forward a little bit and had the trailer up on the road and then he slid and then everything went back in worse than what it was. Yeah, so, you know, just by having all the cables on it, um, making sure that, that that back end didn't go towards that huge drop off side there. Um, so it was kind of, it was a good thing. I'm glad we had two trucks up there because just it's controlled. I, I know that that thing's not gonna take off and 
and get away from us and slide back where we don't want it to. So anyway, that, just the things that you get into with the work truck, you know, they're up here trying to trying to get their job done too. And and uh, just so happened to, ah, hats off to them, man. That, to try to back that trailer up on top of that box truck and uh, two wheel drive, he had, he had the world against him on that one. But uh, I'm glad we were able to help out. And we're gonna head back downtown, um, try to grab some food before we head off to the next one. So stick around, stay tuned.